Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. If you're looking for a new job this summer, have you considered using a recruiter? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your requirements. And as always, job seekers never pay a fee. Visit ExpressPros.com. To find the location near you, visit ExpressPros.com and reach out. Whether you're looking for contract work or a full-time position, let Express help. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Life ain't always pretty, but hey, it's pretty beautiful, fam. Laugh a little more, fam. Tight, tighten up your core, fam. Said EK, you're kicking it with four things. With Amy Brown. Happy Thursday. Amy here. Welcome to Four Things. I got an OG, old school Four Things format for you today with four totally different things. We're going to talk about giving fear space stream of consciousness writing, making easy cookies, which you're going to thank me for that one because they really are the best, most simplest cookies in the world and they're so good. And seeking change out of love, not hate for yourself. First thing. That's right. Ah. All right. Give fear space. That's what we're going to talk about. And it's inspired by something that my friend Lisa posted about fear on Instagram. But before I get into that and Lisa's account, because she's an awesome follow, I got to tell you about another account that I recently started following after Jennifer Aniston posted about it. It's Brunch with Babs. And I feel like I might be a little late to the party because she has 1.8 million followers. And I love Babs's Instagram bio. She says, I'm the internet mom and grandma you didn't know you needed. Come for the family recipes, stay for the motherly advice. (laughs) Anyway, she totally is the mom grandma that I didn't know I needed. I don't have a mom and a grandma anymore. Not trying to be Debbie Downer in any way, shape or form. But sometimes, I mean, simple things about, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up, like there's stuff I used to ask my mom, like, hey, I'm going to be having this many people over how much food should I make? And my mom would be able to help me with that. But Brunch with Babs, she does stuff like that on her account. Like she'll tell you, she put up a post the other day that tells you exactly how much food you need to have at Thanksgiving based on how many people are gonna be coming over or how much wine you need to purchase. 
I love so many of her posts and I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you in case you need someone like Babs in your life. She really does have awesome looking recipes, but she also has hacks for your home. And she does this thing called Babs Bootcamp where she has a whistle for these posts. <laughs> And I feel like when the whistle blows, I need to sit up and pay attention. And it makes me want to get a whistle for my house. And maybe my kids will pay attention to me a little more. But when she blows that whistle, the stuff she's teaching me, it's like mind blowing stuff about cleaning your dishwasher and your washing machine, stuff in your car and one pot pasta dishes. Like she really is the best. So just wanted to give you all that Instagram follow in case you're not already. Again, it's brunch with Babs and shout out to my friend, who's not really my friend, (laughs) but I watch her on Friends and I follow her on Instagram, Jennifer Aniston, for posting about Babs because I love it. All right, so this person really is my friend and it's Lisa Haim. Y'all likely might know her because she co-founded Outway with me and she comes on this podcast from time to time. She's got her own podcast on my network called The Truthiest Life. And her Instagram handle is her name, at Lisa Haim, H-A-Y-I-M. And she put up a post recently. It's actually from November 2nd, in case you want to go to her account and actually see the post. But it's about giving fear space. And I'm going to read it for you now. Pushing through fear isn't the only way to grow. In fact, that method can trigger panic attacks and cause setbacks for what you think you can and can't do. Instead, give fear space Fear doesn't have to be a blockade. It can be a stop sign, a place where we pause and evaluate. Then ask yourself, is this discomfort or is this distress? Because understanding our biology and that we're primed to evaluate danger so that we can maximize our chance of survival. And, you know, sometimes we get it right and instinctually make choices that protect us. But sometimes our wires get crossed and we get scared, even though it's perfectly safe. Other times we live inside our comfort zone doing nothing that touches discomfort. Before I recently went on a hot air balloon ride, I must have asked 35 people if I should do it or not. None of their answers felt right because none of those answers came from me getting to know my own fears and capabilities today. When I paused, I realized that since becoming a mom, I'm a much bigger scaredy cat and that, well, that's normal. Our fears of leaving behind our loved ones and responsibilities are much more clear and center and impossible to ignore. Rather than telling myself over and over that I'm too scared, I leaned into the truth. I was scared, but I wasn't going to not do this amazing thing because it made me fear scared. It was discomfort, not distress. And so I did it anyway. No grit, just pushing through, just listening to myself deeply. Let's normalize being afraid healthy skepticism, and giving fear some breathing space, which I love everything about this post. It's so spot on about fear. We even talked about fear at the Four Things Live in Wichita, which if you haven't listened to that episode, you can go back and hear all that Kat and my sister had to say about fear in the second and third things. But Lisa, thank you for those three tips. And, you know, the number one tip being give fear space. Fear doesn't have to be a blockade. It can be a stop sign, a place where we can pause and evaluate. And I definitely second Lisa's plea to normalize being afraid, to have healthy skepticism and to give fear, again, give fear some breathing space. I love that she used it as a stop sign because it doesn't have to be a roadblock. We don't have to just stop and turn around. It's not a dead end. We maybe could just stop, see where we want to go from there and breathe through it and try to tap into ourselves like Lisa did instead of asking 35 people around us, what is it that our body's telling us about whatever it is that we're afraid of? This hot air balloon thing for her was an actual thing, but for you, it's now used as a metaphor in your life because a lot of us, I mean, I've I've never gotten to a hard, hot air balloon and quite honestly, I have zero desire to because, well, <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> Maybe one day I will do it, but I can apply this to other things in my life that I'm afraid of. And you can do the same. So I hope this helps. Second thing. All right, stream of consciousness writing. That's what we're going to talk about now. And in one of my recent journal entries, I dedicated it to a mantra because I really didn't feel like I had anything to write about. So I just wrote this over and over and over again until it flowed into something else. And the mantra was this, think thoughts, 
about what you want to be. Again, I wrote that over and over and over until it started to turn into me making a list of things that I want to be. And I was able to list out 28 things, uh, some things that I already am and that I would like to continue to be. And then other things that I'm not yet, but that I hope to be. And I share this as an example to how I've become someone that journals and can free flow on pages and pages inside my four things gratitude journal actually is what I use. Now that was made to be a simple journal that's not intimidating at all. You can just jot down four things that you are thankful for. It could be one word, it could be stickers, whatever, but you could just take up the whole page if you want to. And I use my journal for both. But really when I eliminated the rules around any kind of journaling is when things started to flow and get easier. And sometimes it's as simple as taking a mantra and writing it over and over on the page 20 times until it makes you flow into more. And some days maybe it doesn't flow into more and that's okay because there's no rules. It might just be you writing a mantra over and over. You never know where the stream of consciousness writing is gonna take you. But I especially like when I do it in the morning, if I have time. And then sometimes I like to do it before bed as like a brain dump to just get all my thoughts out that, so that I can sleep better. But I wanna be clear, this isn't something that I do every day. I feel like that also... Uh, freaks me out when I see people recommend things and I think that they're so awesome and this is something that they're doing every single day and they're so dedicated and why can't I be more like that? So that's not how I'm presenting this to you at all. I just want you to at least give it a try and then see where it goes from there. And that's what I'm trying to do. I just try to do this as much as I possibly can. I just start writing and I don't stop. Sometimes I set a timer, sometimes I don't. I don't edit, I don't overthink. I just write down all kinds of thoughts that I have, or, you know, like the example I gave you, I write the mantra over and over and over till it flows into a thought. And one minute I might be yeah, writing about the mantra. The next I might be writing about some things that I'm anxious about or some frustrations that I have. The next minute I might be writing about my kids or my dog or my cat or this little teddy bear that I had as a kid. I don't know how that teddy bear popped into my head the other day, but it did. And I ended up writing about it and all the different things I remember about it and its role that it played in my childhood. And then the next line after that was about these nacho flavored pop chips that I'm addicted to right now. So honestly, whoever reads my journal might be like, okay, this girl's thoughts are all over the place, but also that's okay. I even saw someone post the other day about how if they were to suddenly pass away, they have a pack with their best friend to go to their house and get all of their journals and burn them so that no one has a chance to read them because there's just so much in her journals. She doesn't want anybody else to see. And I feel like that's how we need to write. Just write as though nobody is watching, sort of like that saying, dance like nobody's watching. Journal like nobody's watching. And then make a pack with your best friend to burn your journals you know, in case something happens to you. I looked up the benefits of stream of consciousness writing and I thought I would read you them just in case you need a little extra nudge or encouragement to try this out. And this is from becomearitertoday.com. First of all, it allows you to avoid overthinking because you're just flowing away with words. It takes you on a journey of self-discovery. I mean, even that teddy bear thing from my childhood, I hadn't thought about that in so long. And I'm not going to share with you exactly what I was writing because it's my own personal journal thoughts, but that teddy bear did play an important role for me. And it, it was leading to something about my childhood then and then me as an adult now. So again, it could take you on a journey of self-discovery. It can stop writer's block in case you have that. For me, I was blocked one day and that's why I use the mantra over and over and over until it floated something else. It teaches you to be vulnerable. It helps you explore your thinking patterns, can help you make decisions. You can discover your writing style and it can help release your mental load, which again, that's when I use it the most at night if I need to just dump stuff out so that I don't go to bed with a lot of things on my mind. So there you go. Hope y'all will try out stream of consciousness writing. And if you do, send me an email and let me know how it's going for you. Four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. 
Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 15 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going. Make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for when we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. If your business needs a new application, then developers will have to write code, a lot of code. If an application needs to be modernized, then you'll need time, resources, and caffeine. If that sounds daunting, then you need Watson X Code Assistant, AI designed to multiply developer productivity so you can generate code quickly. Let's create a more modern foundation for business with Watson X Code Assistant. Learn more at ibm.com slash code assistant. IBM. Let's create. Here we go. Third thing. Uh, 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 one. Raise your hand if you love easy recipes to make in the kitchen because I'm about to tell you about the easiest cookies in the entire world because it's that time of year again. And I love to remind you about my favorite, very easy pumpkin cookies. They only require two ingredients. Yes, only two ingredients. You will like them. Your kids will like them. You can eat them for breakfast, snacks, with lunch, with dinner. You can eat them whenever you want. I will be putting the recipe in my show notes and then I may make a video, so go to my Instagram today. I'll put up one if you want to see what they look like. At Radio Amy is where you can find me. But one can of pumpkin puree is all you need and one box of spice cake mix. I also have used the Simple Mills pumpkin muffin mix before. So spice cake mix, whatever brand, or a pumpkin cake mix will also work. You just preheat your oven at 350. You line your baking sheet with parchment paper. You mix your pumpkin and your cake mix together in a bowl and then whisk it away and then scoop out like a tablespoon-ish onto a baking sheet and then you bake them for like 13 to 15 minutes and you pull them out, voila. You can also frost them with cream cheese, vanilla or sugar glaze icing if you wanna go the extra mile, but not necessary. And then in my mind, that would technically be a third ingredient and I don't really have time for that. So I don't do that, but I know plenty of other people do. And again, if you want to just see this recipe, go to the show notes. I don't know if y'all ever check out the show notes of the podcast, but sometimes that's where you can find Instagram handles or links to certain things that we're talking about. Or you could screenshot this recipe. That way, 
once you go to the store, you go get the ingredients, you can go back and reference it. Although, I mean, as you can tell, the instructions are pretty darn easy. Okay, doing something fun here for the fourth thing where I'm going to actually share four things inside of the fourth thing. So it feels kind of like Inception or something like that. And these are just four little things that I want you to know about or think about, maybe check out. And I'm going to start with a quote that I saw about seeking change for yourself from a place of love and not hate for yourself. Now, it's from Young Pueblo, which I don't know if y'all follow that account on Instagram, but... It's also a good follow. And the quote goes like this. It is exhausting to be serious all the time. And it is unhealthy to look at yourself and always see things that you want to change. Personal growth is real when it is balanced with acceptance. Maturity is changing because you love yourself, not because you hate what you see. I'm going to say that last line there for people in the back. Maturity is changing because you love yourself, not because you hate what you see. I just really think that sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a loop of craving transformation and change. And it's a great thing to want to grow and change for sure. But sometimes it comes from the wrong place. And I I say that because I've definitely been there. And when I saw the quote, it resonated with me and I thought, okay, someone else might need to hear this. So thought I would share that with y'all. The second thing is cold weather is officially upon us. Some parts of the country don't really have it, but Nashville definitely got super cold recently. And my friend, Stephen Young, that runs a homeless ministry in Nashville called Home Street Home, put up a friendly reminder, a little video chat about the cold weather. So I just wanted to remind y'all to keep the homeless in your communities in mind. If you have some warm clothes that you could donate or you could buy some things to keep in your car so that you could pass out if you happen to pass some homeless people. And you can check out homestreethometn.org for more info and see the work that Stephen does. But a tip that he has shared with us often is that it's so much better to give someone a really nice thick pair of winter socks, just giving them one pair over a bag of 10 or a dozen cheap socks that don't keep their feet warm at all whatsoever. So just keep that in mind if you're going through things to donate or you are going to the store and actually going to buy things to keep in your car. All right, the third thing here inside the fourth thing is one of Kat's You Need Therapy podcast episodes. Well, it's actually two episodes since it's a two-part interview. But last week and then again this week, she had on JP Sachs to talk about leaving a relationship versus being the one that gets left. And JP has experienced it both ways. And he shares with Kat what he's learned. And then Kat was just so excited about this interview with JP. She said that it is one of her all time favorites. So just definitely wanted to recommend it to you. You can download wherever you listen to podcasts. It's You Need Therapy Podcast. And again, it's all about relationships. Maybe you're the one that got left in the relationship or maybe you're the one that had to do the leaving I think you're really going to enjoy their chat. And the fourth thing inside (laughs) this fourth thing is shopping with a purpose for Christmas. Now, a great place to do that with a lot of gift ideas is obviously fourthings.com because supporting Haiti is near and dear to my heart. There's so many things up there from the four things totes to pullovers and more. You can also go to shopespoa.com, E-S-P-W-A. The star necklace is up there. I give you both of those links. They're under the shop forward umbrella. So no matter which one you use and if whatever you get from there, you're going to be paying it forward when you shop. Now, one of our most popular four things items for Christmas is now available. I told y'all during the fifth thing this week that on Monday night, they were released for a limited time only red customizable Christmas pullovers. But I forgot to mention that there's also a blue option unless it is sold out by this point, but it might still be up there. But you can put whatever four things that you like about Christmas as long as it's 13 characters or less. My favorite four things Christmas one that I have is Baby Jesus, Mariah Carey, Family Time and Cookies. And these pullovers go towards supporting Haiti. So if you want to make some as gifts or for a cute family pajama photo, like get flannel bottoms and everyone looks festive, then order soon because you'll want enough time to get them made and then shipped out to you before the holiday season really kicks into gear. And then again, you can get there by going to fourthings.com. 
All right. I hope y'all are having the day that you need to have. I will see you on Saturday for an episode of Outweigh if you're a listener of that. And if not, I'll see you next Tuesday for the fifth thing. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. This is Malcolm Gladwell from Revisionist History. eBay Motors is here for the ride. With some elbow grease, fresh installs, and a whole lot of love, you transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive that's all your own. Brake kits, LED headlights, whatever you need, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. There are some things that are too good to keep a secret. Like how your Amex Platinum card helps you have the perfect trip. I'd like to check into the Centurion Lounge. Or how it seems like you always get those hard-to-snag tables. Ooh, yum. And how you get the most out of select can't-miss events. With access to the Centurion Lounge, Resi Priority Notified, and Amex card member benefits at select events, you'll have to share. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Hey, have you ever used Cheapo Air? For years, and I really like it. With Cheapo Air, you can book online, use their app, or even over the phone. They've got great prices on over 500 airlines and millions of accommodations. They're my go-to for travel planning. And if you join their Club Miles program, you can earn points to save on the cost of your travel. Book on the app, and you get double points. Sounds like it's time I tried Cheapo Air. Call Cheapo Air at 855-247-3279 or visit CheapoAir.com slash podcast.